former girl guides who loved their campfire days so much, they now go off in search of anything and everything to do with brownies and guides. Laura Beaumont set off for camp to powwow with two true leaders of the collecting pack. Okay, I know I'm a bit old to be a girl guide, but you must admit there's something so special about being out here in the fresh air, pitching your own tent and singing a rousing song around the campfire. And for two ladies in particular, their love of girl guiding has led them up the collecting path. Greetings, Susan and Carol. Hi. Hello. I believe that's the right thing to do at this moment. That's, that's absolutely it, it, yes. Now, how long were you two guides for? Well, I was a brownie and a guide just only for a little while. Um, and, and then I started back again as an adult as soon mm. as I could. Well, I started brownies at the age of seven and went on to guide and then rangers until I actually started nursing at 18 and then I had a break and then went back into adult guiding. And is this all the sort of thing that you've collected along the way or did you get all this in car boot sales and places like that? Oh, I don't know, along the way. <laughs> along yes. the way. Yeah. Some, of it. Some of the things are right from, right from the start. We, we yeah. do um, go to boot sales to see what we can find. So Susan, what are some of the earliest things that you have in your collection? Well, some of the things are my original brownie things. Uh, my certificate, for instance. Yeah. My badges. A uh, little brown owl here. What's that for? Oh, well, this was an advertising thing for advertising brown owl biscuits. So who's this little brownie here? Yes. <laughs> yes, that's me, yes. Oh, so sweet. Lovely uniforms then, weren't yes, they? Yes, yes, they were really, yes. They're more practical nowadays, but I think they look more like uniforms in those days. What about these dolls over, the, over there? Whose are they? Well, they're mine. They're my daughter's, really. This one here, the big one, was hers when she was a little girl. She was an honorary brownie from about the age of four or five when I ran a brownie pack. So this was hers. Then, of course, we have this lovely little old one, which we think is probably about the 1950s, which isn't hers. This belongs to the archives, and she's very old. She's got a wobbly head. She's got a lot of badges there, She's got a she? lot of badges, yes, and... She's got them on this side as well, and the tie with the badge. She's really rather sweet. Children, they love her. Because I suppose it's like a, looking at the badges, it's almost like a social women's history, seeing the sort of oh, things yes. that women yes. were doing yes. about that time. Mm. Yes. Do you have a lot of those little badges? Do you, oh. Are they quite collectible? Yes, well, we, yeah, we the have little lot. badges we've got, but um, Carol particularly collects the, uh, the cloth Whoop. badges. I've got brownie and guide ones, but the, these really are my favourites, which were the patrol emblems oh. with the kingfisher. Oh, that's me. Yeah, that's, me. that's you there, yeah. the kingfisher. Yep, the woodpecker. The no. woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> There's the kingfisher. And on the other side are the older kingfishers in the felt badges and the skylarks, which are obsolete. You can't get those any longer. Then, of course, we have the interest badges, which is what the girls work towards. They're not really very readily available. They're quite hard to find, a lot of them. So what about this log book? This looks interesting. Oh, yes, yes. Well, this is from the County Archives, and it's a wonderful book, right, dating from 1920 up to the 1950s. Quite Here incredible. are some of the illustrations. Oh, they're um, wonderful. The watercolours. This is when Her Royal Highness the Princess Royal arrived at a camp, in the rain, of course, because it always rains at guide camps. So how do you think guiding has changed over the years? Oh, it certainly has changed. It's a, it's a guide movement, and it's moving on from 1910, when we started, and, and we're now progressing into the 1990s with an up-to-date programme and an up-to-date uniform too. And I couldn't possibly finish the day without a rousing rendition of everyone's favourite Girl Guide number one song, Gingangooly. Are you with me, girls? Gingangooly, watch her, Gingangoo, Gingangoo, Gingangooly, watch her, Gingangoo, Gingangoo. Hello!